guys good um afternoon welcome to moment with effective how has your weekend been happy sunday guys yeah i hope you get oh i hope you all are preparing for tomorrow tomorrow is monday and you know we have to start packing your bags for the week so today i'm bringing you one exciting news you know as we promised that we'll be giving you you know relationship talks entertainment cheese trend and gist and the like so today what we have on our plate is entertainment gist yes i know we all love apoko yeah i do yeah so um away from that so today we are going to be talking about a certain actress and i strained husband so for two days now they've been trending and you know the saying entertainment is nothing like a bad publicity so today we'll be talking about you know what uh, the scandal is all about and and the things probably you guys have not seen the videos the new video um they did or you know probably you people don't even know how the old story came to be so here i have a moment for the fact that we are here to like tell you the detailed apropos we don't give you half gist we don't give you half big gist we give you as it as they ought so today we are talking about the not all the done you know if, you, if you've been following online just trending at uh, seen the um twitter and you know facebook's ig blogs have been carrying it's been here and there you would know what um i am about to talk about so we there's um, the actress we're talking about today is messy ib I want to believe everybody know Messi Aigbe, but because I know that this is a channel and I'm not sure, like, you know, different race, different tribes, different religion and different ethnic come here to watch things. So I don't, I won't say that, oh, everybody should know who she is. So I am going to be giving you a background um, information about her. So Messi Aigbe is a... Is an actress, is an entertainer, is an influencer, is a brand, brand ambassador, and above all, she's an entrepreneur and a mother. She runs like you know various businesses, and she has two kids, one female, and one male. So yeah, um, this is not um, Mercedes' Bay's first marriage. She has been married to Larry Gentry before. If you stay afloat, you would like if you're you know current, you would know when that saga happened about three years ago where she left the house because of domestic violence, allegedly. You know, she said the man was beating her, you know, she showed us pictures and all of that. And you know Nigerians now they were like, Oh, leave the house, oh fuck him, all this, all that. And yeah, she did leave. She didn't leave the house and so to say the first child like a first child is not for mr larry but mr larry gentry is the first marriage yes so like the two of them produce a son together a first child is a female the second one is from mr larry gentry and so yes the bad ways and for three years she's been doing great you know you know making movies going to locations doing well in her business a child is in a female child is in Canada studying like she has everything going on well with her and until last year she started saying I had you know the slogan I had you know I had you know I had you know everybody was like what is this the owner everybody's curious I was so curious like I really wanted to know who this the owner is you know let last year just love her posted like oh uh, one certain Mr. Kazima Doty of Adikas Production, CEO of Adikas Production, is the deal now they are talking about. But you know, now most people, you know, yeah, some people believe, but since she did not come outside, or there was no traces, or you know, there was no evidence, they were not seen together in a, in an enclosed place and all of that, people really didn't, you know, you know, believe, so to say, and till. January on Mr. Kazim Adilti's birthday. So apparently, according to Gislova, 
Messi Aigwe posted the man on WhatsApp and did not post him on Instagram. So we saw the screenshot of Messi's status, WhatsApp status, and Mr. was posted, Mr. Doty was posted, and you know, she, um, just love her, then you know, screenshotted the the status and posted it on Instagram with the caption, I had the owner, this is the, the owner, and stuff like that. And you know, the internet went gaga, like you know. Like, oh, 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 who is this? Who is this? Wow, is it true? Is it true? What true is this? Then she tested it. Me, I love people that used to test their stuff. You are doing something, please test it. Then she tested it like she posted it herself on her Instagram page. You know? And she started, you know, raining encomiums on him, praising him, episode upon episode, posting their videos together. Yeah, like you know, she damn all consequences. I was like, okay, he's my baby. I'm not going to like, you know, do as if we're not together. People already know. I'm no, I don't know. She didn't say that, but you know, paraventure that is what was going through her head. Everybody already, you know, knows all these things. So why not just come on and chase this thing? So apparently they're married. Yeah, that was what she said, Messi. Like they're married, she's a wife, she's his wife now, second wife to say. So where the problem is, you see, I'm trying to give you a background story of all these things so that you will understand the main gist that is trending now. Apparently, Mr. Kazim Adoti of Adikas Production, like, you know, is one of the, one of the productions, um, Yoruba movies, uh, Yoruba producers use, like, you know, he's doing very well on his own and he's also a co-founder of He's also a co-founder of um, Ibaka TV. I'm sure you guys know Ibaka TV on channel on the YouTube channel. Like they're doing good, they're doing great, and so, and then people were like, "Oh, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this to a woman like you? To um, to a, a, another woman like you? Why would you snatch somebody's husband? Why would you do this? Why would you do that?" Then Mr. Kazim's adult just posted something on Instagram. Blah blah blah. Messi was my friend. Messi snatched my husband. Can you come? Can you come? They've known since like all this time. You are can you come? You can you come? Then Mr. Larry Gentry, um, Messi Igwe's ex husband is posted it's like, Can you people see what I'm saying? That she has not been faithful. She has blah blah blah. Then there's this picture that has been circulating. I'll look for that picture and put it on this video. That was circulating that we saw um, Messi Aigwe and her ex-husband, Kazima Duty and his first wife, you know, they, they snapped a picture and, you know, Mr. Larry Gentry was like, yes, they were friends. Like, you know, family friends and stuff like that. Like, they were friends. And, you know, that Messi Aigwe has been sleeping with the man before they broke up. Yeah, that before they broke up. So when he said that, people, internet people was like, oh, even they said it like it's um, you know, they dragged their son into this. I don't like it, but then there's nothing I can do. So they dragged our son into the old mess, saying that oh, um, it looks like Mr. Kazima Duty. That who knows? Maybe it's Mr. Kazima Duty's son. And I was like. What the fuck? Like you guys are going to bring DNA into this? Like really? That's kind of big, you know. When you say somebody is unfaithful, you know, it's still like it's not manageable, but it's still another thing. It's a new ball game when you're saying that the child of somebody is not theirs because, ha. Huh, that's on another level. I was really scared for the son, not for her, you know, for the son and stuff like that. You know, the news surrounding him and all of. I'm very sure they would seize his phone at that period because it was very hot, like it was so hot. Then Mr. Larry Gentry came out to say that yes, that I can confirm 100% that Juan is Mr. Iwe's son is Juan, like his name is Juan, like Juan is his son. So people were like, oh, okay, for him to come out to check this, that means he must have, he must have done a DNA, blah, blah, blah. 
So yes, it died down. People were see going to apostle to insult that I, I trust Nigerians now. Trust them. To insult her, I give her bad names. Oh, you're the one woman, woman. Uh, so much for women supporting women. You went to do turn around, you would do him. Husband snatcher, blah blah blah. Trust Nigerians. Trust us. Like blah blah blah. This this is this and that. She was acting as if she does not give a damn, but you know, it died down a little bit. Not a little bit died they kind of died down but people were still talking about but it was not trending and i'm not sure people were still going to um she was getting eight comments like that per se per se she was getting one one but not you know the way they were bombarded you not even see any positive comments in the whole of almost thirty thousand comments until until this new drama that is brewing now until two days ago, three days ago, where both Mr. Kazima Deity of Adikas Production and Mercy Aigbe of Magdivers and Anatrice granted an interview. The interview is... I watched the interview from it. I can't even remember. It's more than 10 minutes long and then I watched it. I would extract a part of the clip to this, yes, to this um, video. Uh, you know, they asked them questions. Did Messi snatch you from your from your wife? He was like, no, he's an adult, he's a Muslim. His, his religion permits him to, you know, get married to more than one wife. Well, but the problem is when your wife is claiming that this person that you are currently married to was a friend. That's still a claim to know that. I introduced Mr. Kazim to Mercy and Mercy snatched my husband. That is still a stand. And then they back to the interview, they asked him, blah blah blah. Um, I used to marry to first. She he said yes, that you know, she's in the US, he's in, in Nigeria, so she he understands why people think that they're separated or divorced, but everything is going on well. And then they asked them how they met, they said it, you know. I would, I would, I try to like, you know, put some of the clips to this video so that you, can, you guys can see for yourself. And she said, I like, you know, they, they spoke about how they met. Um, you know, Messi was one of uh, the producers that produced movies for him. Blah blah blah. They're in love. But you know, one thing that is evident in that video is the fact that Messi Aibe is in love. Like you can see love brimming from her. Uh, like she was, you know laughing smiling you know like it, it's like it's like when you buy a toy like you know when a, a, a your child has been wanting this particular toy for some time and you know you bought a toy for for this kid and she's so happy you know flaunting it and then like she was so you need to see the way she was bringing you know she was ah, i was like sis <laughs> well you know I love love. Love is good, but then I don't like the love that us oh, another woman. No, I don't. But then who are we? Who are we to, you know, condemn her because it's none of my business and that's what I say to people. It's not affecting me in any way. It's none of my business. It's a life. And in the video, he, she mentioned that this would be her last marriage. And when the man popped up the question, she didn't want to lose a good man. He's a good man. He kept mentioning that he's a good man. He's a good man. He's a good man. So, you know. And that was it. And after the interview comes the it. Then the first wife posted that the Mr. Kazim is as soon to be husband. I guess divorce is going on and she was like she does not want him anymore. Messi, she still maintains the stance that Messi is a friend. She introduced Messi to Mr. Kazim and they started dating. She said they started dating. I'll look for that tweet and post it. See, she said that they look uh, like you know, they started dating four months like when Juwon was four months old. That was what that was the first wife stance. Like, how dare you, my friend? 
cheat my husband took me of getting married to him and then you guys are, are standing behind the fact that oh uh, my religion permits me to uh my religion is come on come on come on go to doubt that what is no good is no good but then it's the life they have money and yeah another thing that she said she corrected was the fact that people said she dated mr she's she got married to mr cousin because she, mr cousin is rich because of his money and she was like oh she's not poor apparently she's not poor because she's doing well for herself like she has a house even before you know getting married to mr due to dating him or something so that is um the old gist um thing today that's the that like you know it trended the first the majority were condemning her acts that she is an actress she's supposed to be a role model and not to be snatching you know people's husband like there were a lot of theories if for some of uh you know celebrity some of the celebrity were even writing, you know, epistles to condemn their heart, to say this and say that about uh, about how it is not morally right. Although Mr. Kazim said he prefers, like, you know, having a second wife than, you know, frolicking about, you know, cheating and cheating and cheating about. But you know, one something they say about doing the right thing the wrong way. Yeah, maybe that is what happened. Maybe it will not have been this, you know this um this i'm not sure it won't have been this blown even if um the wife is not claiming that messi is um a friend i think the major issue here now is that she became she like she is a second wife to him like she not like the man is divorced not like the wife is dead but she actually became a second wife And you know, the first wife is there crying, doing everything. You know, they know each other, but they are claiming that they are just fine. Because that's the sh short and long of the old thing. She said anybody could, you know, see her on, at the mall and ask her a picture. It does not make them friends. Blah, blah, blah. They are not friends. They're not this and all that. <sighs> friends, I don't know what to say to this thing. No. I don't know. You see, as much as I learn, I like to mind my business. I cannot like mind my business on this thing. I have to bring this for you people, so that people can, you know, know what is currently going on. Even if you are not, you know, some of you might just see what that almost is trending, and you like you saw the interview, but you do not know the genesis of the whole thing. That is why I try to like, you know, break it down for all of you to be able to know wow it you know brew up brew up brew up to what it is today you know just she she's, she's still being dragged and, and then you know i saw a tweet i, I saw an edgy post where she said oh what do people want people said oh grant the interview so that you can tell people your own story your own side of the story and some people say oh you should not have granted the interview you don't hold them an explanation blah 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 you know everything is just so mixed up but you know at the end of the day the hearts want what they want i wish them all the best in the marriage ah, may love may their love continue to radiate in the i don't know the, the, see eh? ah, i don't know i don't know i don't see i see I, the, one thing i find difficult to do is to tell if somebody like to judge somebody's life I'm not saying what is good. What she did is good or no. LTD, no. What she did is no good. Because anything that will give you joy, but that will take, that will bring, that will make another woman or another human to become sorrowful. I don't think I wasn't that sort of happiness. But in the video, she seemed to be enjoying the marriage. She seemed to be really into the marriage. She seemed to be really, really in love with the man. Like you could see it on her face. I'm going to put the video so that you guys can, know, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Like, okay, if is not saying what she does not know. So yeah, this 
is what we brought to you today the entertainment gist you know about Messi Aigbe scandal or should we say Messi Aigbe Adelti scandal I don't know so yes that will be all for today thank you so much for tuning in to moments with effective I'll be expecting you next week same day same time I love you guys bye